everybody i am putting this in this video i'm not sure where i'm putting it in because i'm just making a very frugal meal and i want to add it to my video i made chicken and it turned out amazing that was in a previous video i'd added some salsa and apricot jam that i got free at the food pantry and we're going to make it over rice today because i'm really hungry but the leftover of it, I'm going to freeze. So I'm going to work on that and I'm going to make some rice and then I'll talk a little bit about frugal meals and rice is always your friend if you don't have money and you're very hungry. So with all these experiments I've been doing, I realized the most simple of foods is the most frugal. So you don't need to have big desserts or you don't need to have all of these things to have a frugal meal. So it's just rice and chicken. And the chicken I'm gonna heat on the stove, I am using a small rice cooker because that saves me money because the rice cooker doesn't take hardly any electricity. And it makes rice perfect every time and I don't have to stand and stir it and watch it. So for me, it is two cups of rice to four cups of water. And then I'll show you what I add to my rice to make it tasty. And it was just about free. All right, there is the rice. Now I add one of these. Now these are my pesto cubes. And one of these will season the rice. And there we go. It was as simple as that. I am eating uh, a lot of food in my freezer. So my freezer door is actually being able to close on its own now. No more bungee strap to hold that freezer door closed. So that is amazing. I'm using up everything in this freezer and as it gets empty, then I'm adding things from my out porch in. So we're using up some food and it feels really good. Instead of spending, we're using up what we got. I have so much food. When I did the video and saying that I'm not gonna store as much food, people didn't understand. They didn't realize that I have years of food. And so now's the time to enjoy it and to live using it and to save my money. And because I'm using what I have in my pantry, I have this and expired it last year. I'm making this for dessert for when my family comes over and it looks really good. Just add milk, butter, and sugar. So I'm gonna make this and we'll see how this turns out. So one thing that's really been helping me with saving money is having a meal planner. You know, I did that all the time when we had children, but then when their children got married and moved out, I didn't really think about having a meal planner because it was just hubby and I. But a meal planner really saves you a lot of money. I just found a free printable online and I printed it out and now I have my meals all planned out for the week. I'm going to do future videos where I'll show you exactly what my meals are and we're going to be making them all through the week. Tomorrow it's pineapple meatballs. Tuesday, it's ham and potatoes, which of course you'll see a video on that. And then Wednesday is leftovers. And Thursday is some soup I have in the freezer with a salad. And it's really fun because every Sunday I make my meals for the week. In the course of my thrifty Thursdays, you will see me buying a lot of things that I use outside the box. So this here is a pitcher that's used for water or punch. I use it for my laundry soap and this is going to help me tremendously because it has the spigot on the end of it. My laundry soap I make by hand and I make it in a big four gallon milk jug. So I have to go ahead and stir this. When you use homemade products it does not look like store-bought so that means you have to stir it or shake it each time you use it. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this and put this in this nice glass pitcher and then that way I can use this in with my laundry. When you make things by scratch, you don't have the commercial plastics and things like that. So this glass jar is going to last me well a lifetime unless something happens to it and I can use this for my dish soup and my laundry soup. I use this for everything. Another way I use jars are 
canning jars are so expensive. So unless I'm canning, I don't use canning jars for anything. I use old jars to store my dried food. Today, I am working on some peppers from the garden. I am still harvesting a few things from the garden. And we have all of these peppers. Now they took overnight to dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these all out of the dehydrator. save money when we need just a little bit of heat I'll run my dehydrator and that gives just enough heat in the house that does really warm it up on these early fall days not only does it give us heat it also dehydrates my food Thank you guys so much for watching this short video on how I save money. I do have a small product review. That's simply because I'm trying to earn a few extra dollars for the month of December for Christmas. I'm sure most of you can understand. If you don't like a product review, you can just click off the video now and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Homestead Tessie. Today I have a product review for all of you and that is the hair dryer. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair and I'm going to see how well this hair dryer works. Let's open it up out of the box first and let's see what it looks like. Beautiful hair dryer. As you can see, it has a very long cord, which makes it really nice. So we're gonna take the cord and show you how long it is. It is a very long cord, which is really nice. So it gives you a lot of room to work with. We're gonna take the nice paper coating off of it, but it looks like I'm gonna turn it on. As you can see, it has the safety buttons. It shows here in digital that it's off. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. Okay, it shows you on the digital readout. Whoa, that has a lot of pressure, wow. So we have different attachments that come with it. We have this one where you can focus on blowing at a certain area. And then we have this, which makes it really nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair and then I'll show you how it looks and how it works with wet hair. So we have the two buttons on the sides. One is the temperature and one is the fan. You can set it for cool or you can set it for hot. I'm gonna go ahead and set it for hot. And here is the temperature and here is the fan. All right, woo, wow. This thing has a lot of power. It is amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and dry my hair, then I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. I couldn't help but laugh when I did this product review because it's so not like me. And why am I doing my hair in the kitchen? No, I normally don't have hair products in the kitchen, but this is the only lighting that I can use. The rest of my house is extremely dark. So it's somewhat of a funny product review, but it's an amazing product and I'll give it to my granddaughters and it helps me out tremendously. I will never be a Hollywood star and trust me, I don't ever want to be.